in this step-by-step -step video, I'm going to show you a very simple three-step method that I use to sculpt any stylized piece, starting completely from scratch. We will go over how I set up my Blender workspace for sculpting, the basic brushes and tools I use for blocking out the face, and the methods and techniques I use to sculpt details on the face. So open up Blender and let's get started. Before we start sculpting in Blender, there are some settings and changes I like to make inside of Blender. So I'm going to go to Edit, Preferences, and then under Add-ons, I'm going to search for Extra Objects. I'm going to enable Add Mesh Extra Objects. And then under Key Map, I'm going to enable Extra Shading Pie Menu Items. What that does, once I press Z on the keyboard, it gives me these two extra options and I can easily toggle Valley and toggle x directly from this pie menu. I'm going to save preferences and I'm going to close out of this. I also like to add some of the tools and objects to my quick favorites. For example, I press shift here on the keyboard and I'm going to add a round cube to my quick favorites. I'm going to right click on it and add it to quick favorites. I'm going to select everything here and delete. And then I'm going to add in the round cube from my quick favorites. I'm going to bring up this option and under operator presets, I'll change this to cut sphere. And I'm going to change the division to cutting. We are going to switch over to the sculpting tab so that we can start sculpting from there. I'm going to press N on the keyboard to bring up this panel. And I'm going to go to view. And I'm going to change the focal length to at 150. And then I'm going to split my viewports into three parts. This part right here is going to be where I can view the progress of the sculpt without any overlays turned on. So I'm going to turn off every overlay. And this one right here, I'm going to bring out the reference that we are going to be using for this sculpt. And then to start sculpting, we are going to enable X symmetry. And then also the brushes I use the most, I've added them to my pre-favorite so that I can easily select them from my pre-favorite instead of going all the way here to select them while sculpting so I'll, i can easily select them from my pre-favorite all the brushes i'm using is going to be displayed on the right side here just in case i don't see it and now we can actually start sculpting i'm going to pull down in the jaw of the character i'm going to go into front view i'm going to pull this down I'm going to go to the side view and adjust it from the side view. I'm going to look at my reference here and adjust it according to my reference. I'm going to adjust the back of the head, also the front. Maybe I'll take this up a little bit. And that's okay. And then from the front view, I'm going to use the line project brush to cut off the sides of the head. Just going to draw a straight line and cut it off. I'm going to go back to my grab brush and I'm going to adjust the shape of the face. I'm actually going to bring everything inside. I want it to be more narrow. I'm going to smooth it out. I'm just going to smooth everything out. Just like that. And then I'm going to make the separation of the cranium and the jaw a little bit more prominent. I'm going to use my clean strips brush. I'm going to just carve out that separation between the cranium and the jaw. Just going to carve it out. Just like that. I'm going to smooth it out. I also use my brush and just drag this in. And then I'll make sure I'm happy with the shape before I move on. I'm going to get my sphere brush and I'm going to scrape the back of the head. I'm going to clean it out. I'll get my grab brush and just pull this in from where it is. From my reference here, you can notice that it's going inward. So I'll try to replicate this. Then I'm going to smooth out here. I'll bring the chin a little bit more forward and I'm going to flatten out the under of the chin or the jaw. Something like that. That looks okay. I 
I'm going to get my crease brush and I'm going to mark out which to make this separation more distinct. I'm going to go back to object mode and I'm going to add in another round cube for the neck of the character. I'll bring up the round cube options and I'll change the divisions to it. I don't need it to be to have as much resolution as the head. So I'm going to go back to edit mode, scale this down and move this on the Z axis. I'm going to go to the side view if we scale this back up. S and Z to scale it on the Z axis. And then I'm going to rotate this backwards. I want to rotate the neck backwards. G to move this backwards. And then I'm going to go into sculpt mode and we're going to hit the neck with the head that we already have. You can start shaping the head of the character or the neck of the character. And if you notice that you've started sculpting and it didn't mirror over to the other side because you forgot to turn on X X mirror. Here's something you can you can go to the direction here and say plus X to minus X and you can simply symmetrize it and then automatically mirrors it over to the other side. Then don't forget to turn on the X symmetry so that whatever we do on one side will be affected on the other side. So we're going to keep sculpting and we're going to shape the neck fit the head that we have. But you can also switch back between different objects using our skill to adjust different parts of the sculpt. I'm going to adjust this and this. I'll make this neck wider. Now I'm going to go to the side view. I'll pull out the front of the neck like this. I'll also pull the back of the neck just like that. I'm going to make an indication for the throat just like this. Then I'm going to swing that out. Then see if that looks okay. I'm going to go to the front view. I'll just make the next states. And by the way, I'm using Alt Z to double. The X in the X stream would work and also use Z on the keyboard and toggle X stream mode. I'm using the shortcuts Alt Z. And then from the front view, I'm, we are going to make the neck straight. I'm also going to go to the training view and adjust it from the 3D view. I'm going to go to the under of the neck and I'll make this back part of the neck just wider than the front. Something like that. I'm going to adjust this part. I'll switch back to the head object and I'll just shoot it out here, this part of the head. Now it's looking nice. I'm going to adjust the chin of the character. I'll bring it up a little bit. I'll bring it up and then. I'm going to also bring it, I'm just going to drag it in, just like that. I'll switch back to the neck and I'll adjust the shapes on the neck. And that's okay for now. We're just going to shift the jaw, something like that. That's okay. Then I'm going to add another round cube for the ear. I'm going to go into edit mode, scale this down and bring it to the side. I'm going to scale this on the Y axis, something like that, scale it. And then I'm going to go to sculpt mode and I want this object mirrored over to this side. So I'm going to do the same thing I did last time. I'm going to symmetrize from the plus X axis to the minus X axis. Then I'm going to hit symmetrize. I'm going to symmetrize the object to the other side. I'm going to shape the ear. Boom. Make sure also make sure X symmetry is enabled after it's symmetrized. I'm going to symmetrize again. 
and then I'm going to shape it here from the front view first. Then I'll go back to edit mode and I'm going to rotate this. I'm going to rotate this like this. I'm going to go back, okay, go back to edit mode. Just pull that there. Then I'll go back to sculpt mode. Now I'm going to finalize the shape from the side. I'm going to switch back to the head object. I'll pull this chain in a little bit. And I'll also just smooth out the front of the face. Just like that. Yeah. I'm going to make this neck a little bit more narrower on the front view. Just me that. Yeah, like that. I'm going to go back to object mode and we can call the blockout stage complete. And now we can move on to the next step, which is going to be finding where the place of the head sits on this piece. So I'm going to replicate or try and replicate something like this into our 3D model. Also, I have references for some of that, like this. So to start sculpting that, we are going to increase resolution on our mesh. To increase resolution, I press R. And I'm going to just drag my mouse until I get to like 0 0.04 or 0 0.05. I'm going to press, I'm just going to click. Once I get to the number I like, I'm just going to click. And I'm going to press Ctrl R to remesh. And then before we start sculpting anything, I just want to smooth out everything. Just smooth it out. I'm going to get my my script brush and I'm just going to make sure that this part transitions well into the neck and you need to smooth that out. I'm also going to get my crease brush and I'm going to make sure that the brush between the cranium and the jaw is looking good. Just like that. And then we can start sculpting the planes of the head. I'm going to get my crease brush and I'm going to draw a straight line from where the ear starts just to the front of the face just like that and then I'm going to smooth out this top part into that like that so also smooth out these bottom parts this is, this is going to be the eyebrow line, so I'm going to use my crease brush while holding down control and just make that spin all. And then I'm going to use my grab brush with a big size. I'm just going to put it right here and then I'm going to pull back the this eye line so that the nose can have space to sit down right there, just like that. I'm going to pull this back in. And then I'm going to get my script brush and I want to plane out the sides of the head. Just use my script brush to plane out the sides of the head and also the forehead. Just like so. I'll do the same thing here again. Just plane that out. I also want to make this eye, this eye line as on the side visible. So I'm going to use my crease brush. I'm going to just make that more prominent. That looks fine. I'm going to smooth out all up here like this. I'm going to adjust the chin. I want that to be a bit higher from here. It's quite slow, so I'm just going to drag everything up with a, with a big size. I'm going to use a big size grab brush and I'm just going to pull everything up just like that. And then I'm going to pour the chin for the jaw out. I think it's fine. I'm going to use my square brush again and I'm going to clean out the sides of the face. Just like that. I need to clean this out. I'm also going to go under the chin and also plane that out. Let's make that angular like that. Use my grab brush, hold this down. 
and I'm going to smooth out everything gently. I'm going to gently smooth out everything. So I'm going to use my clear strips brush. I'm going to just make that transition smoother so that the eyeline doesn't reach all the way back there. And then I'm going to smooth that out. Take my skip brush again. I'm going to lean out the sides of the cheeks. It's like that. I'm also going to add some resolution to the neck just so that we don't leave it behind. I'm going to switch to the neck object using Alt Q. Then I'm going to press R on the keyboard. Around 0 0.05 is good. I'm going to remesh it and just smooth out everything. Just like that. And also for the ear, we're going to add the resolution. But before I remesh that actually, I'll just reduce the size of the ear. I'm using a big grab brush. I'm going to just reduce the wall shape of the ear. And then I'm going to remesh in here. Actually, I'll bring that remesh to 0 0.02. And then I'm just going to smooth out there, okay? And then, I'll switch back to the head object. I'm going to use my crease brush to mark out the chin. To mark out where the chin starts. Just going to mark that out. A cold, a cold going down. And then, I'm going to use my grab brush. And I'll just pull this in. A little bit and then I'll smooth that out. I'm also going to push in the sides of the piece just like that. I'm going to push in the sides of the piece. I'm going to smooth out everything just like that. Then we can add in the news so that we can have a a good sense of what block out of the planes of the head is going to look like. I'm going to add in another round cube. I'm going to edit me much. Scale this down. We'll go to the side view. I want to bring that forward. Scale it down again. Bring that forward. I'm going to rotate this G and move it in. And then I'm going to select this top vertex. And control plus till I reach halfway of the round cube, and then I'm going to extrude it into the face. I'm just going to move that into the face, and then I'm going to also going to add loop cuts. I'm going to add like three loop cuts here. I'll select everything and S to scale it on the X axis. I'm going to go back to sculpt board and I'm going to start shaping the nose. The nose from the bottom is like the triangle that sits on the face. Also, don't forget to turn on symmetric, X symmetric. The nose from the bottom is like a triangle. Looks like that. Then I'm also going to same like this, smooth that out. Which is my scale brush, just clean out the sides of the nose. And also the top of the nose. Just like that. I'm going to use my grab brush to make an indication of the nose shears. Just push that inside. Push the nose shears inside. Just like so. And I'm also going to pull this out like that. Nice looking fine. Think I'll make this chain a bit wider. And then I'm also okay from the side, from the side view, I want the chain to I'm going to just take it backwards. I'll I'll switch back to the nose object and I'll just bring this forward a little bit. Now for the chain. Right here, I'm going to just make a protrusion. 
of where the mouth is going to sit i'll smooth that out and then in the side view i'm going to bring this in bring this forward a little bit i will switch back to the other bit now just like that yeah then maybe i'll pull this chin back down and from here i'm going to pull this up just like that And that looks fine. Maybe I'll take my step breath and plane the forehead again. We want to make sure that the forehead is going backwards, slanted backwards. So you just plane that out till you like it. I'm also going to plane the sides of the head. And like I said before, make sure you're happy with the with the forms you have before moving on to the next step so i'm just going to try and make these forms um, or push these forms to realign them i'm going to smooth out this part of the chin with my script brush and others once again play now the under looks like that I think the neck is too long of trying. So I'm just going to use my girl brush or cool that up. So I'll use my style I'll use my line project brush and I'm going to cut it just like that. And I'll smooth it out. I'll raise this part to go. And that's okay. I'll switch back to the ear and I'll just adjust it to fit the changes that we have made on the head. I'm going to adjust the nose a little bit more. And then I'm going to just smooth out this part of the face. I'm also going to take my script brush again, plane out this side for the face. I think we have a good, we have been able to, to define the planes of head quite accurately for this stylized character. This is my script brush. So I'm going to select all of this again. We get it. I'm going to rename it. I'll move it to a new collection and I'm going to name it Players Box and it head. I'm going to disable that collection and now we can move on to the next step, which is going to be adding the official features of the character. I'm going to go back to my reference to the main reference here and to start adding in the feature features, I like to start with the eyes. So I'm going to shift E, mesh, and I'm going to add in the UV sphere. I'm going to rotate it on the X axis by 90 degrees. I'm going to scale this down in objects mode this time. Move this to the side. I'll press Q on the keyboard to add the mirror modifier to it. And then I'm going to select the head objects. I'm going to move this out just like that and I'm going to place it I'm going to go into edit mode select this vertex and I'm going to use ctrl plus C and I'm going to select just the first two edge loops I'm going to go into vertex paint enable paint marks so that we can only paint on the places that are selected in edit mode i'm going to press x to switch these two colors in this place x to switch the two colors there and then i'm going to paint 
in the eyes. I'm going to go back to object mode and the color that we painted just disappeared. That's because we, in our viewport shading, we need to change the color mode to attributes. The vertex color is our attribute, so we need to change the vertex shading color mode to attributes. I'm also going to do the same for this viewport. I'm going to change this to attributes. From here, we can start adding facial features. I'm going to go to sculpt mode. I'm going to increase my resolution 0.03 is fine. I'm going to press Ctrl R to the mesh. Then I'm going to start smoothing out everything. I don't generally smooth out everything. I'm going to use my crease brush and define that eye line again. And then I'm going to use my draw sharp brush from my key favorite or just from here and then I'm going to hold down control and then I'm going to start joining the upper eyelid just like that just like so I'm going to adjust it from the under I want it to sit around the eye so I'm just going to adjust it to fit around the eye I'm actually going to remesh again and I'm going to use my crease brush. I also define where the eyelid starts from. Okay, as okay for now. And then at this point, I like to add or join the nose mesh to the head mesh. So I'm going to go to object mode. I'm going to select the nose, I'm going to select the head. Then I'm going to press Ctrl G. And then I'm going to go back to sculpt mode. I'm going to remesh everything together. Control R to remesh everything. Then I'm going to use my clay strips brush. Just mix the smooth transition between the nose and the face, where it sits on the face. I'm going to use my clay strips brush to continue adding volume. Just like that. We just smooth that out. And then I'm going to add the lower eyelid. The same way we did for the upper one. Using my draw sharp brush. I'm going to add the lower eyelids. Just like that. Now that I have the lower eyelids. We don't have enough resolution yet. But we can still work from this and walk our way up to higher resolutions. But now that we have this, we're just going to adjust the eyelids around the eye. I'm going to adjust them the way they sit around the eye. Now we're actually going to remesh again. Control R. We're going to remesh or smooth this out a little bit. Pull that out of the eye. Smooth it again. Put it out of the eye. I'm going to use my crease brush holding down control. I'm going to define the lower eyelid. Just like so. Also, the same thing for here. I'm going to make an indication for the lower eyelid. I'm also going to use my clay stress brush and make smooth transition between the nose and the forehead. Like so. I'm going to bring down this eyebrow line we raise this bring this side up bring this side down and raise this up just like that and then right now i'm noticing i want this forehead to sit but to be angled more down just like you it is like this in this side i want it to angle down so i'm going to use my scale brush and i'll just play now that forehead I'm also going to do it from the side. And then I'm going to use my grab brush. And I'm just going to lay it down. And that's just like that. And I'm going to swing that there again. I'm going to use my piece brush. And I'm going to define where the eyebrow is going to sit. Just a straight line to define where the eyebrow sits. 
just like that i'm going to smooth that out and then i'm going to add volume i'm going to add in the volume i see on this part of the character i'll just use my clay switch brush and i'm just going to add in that volume just like that and then i'm going to smooth that out i use my crease brush again and define the eyelid so that we always know where the eyelid is just like that also going to use it to define this place holding down controls i'm going to use my bra brush and i'm going to shape the eyelid around the eye make sure it's round and it sits around the eye from every angle I'm going to push this in i'm also going to push in this one just like so i'm going to pull this corner of the eye to sit like this i'll try to go back to object mode and i'll just change eye switch and then i look okay for the eye for now and then i'm going to define the nose i'm going to use my crease brush i'm going to define the edge of the nose all the way to the under of the nose and then i'm going to use my draw brush i'm just going to hold down control to take in the side of the nose tray. i'm going to use my grab brush and i'll raise this part of the nose up and also like this from the side view i'll try to push this in i think it's coming out too much so i'm just going to push this in with my grab brush also going to push this side in just like that then maybe i'll pull this one more. i'm going to pull that one up like that I'm going to increase my resolution, then we'll be able to sculpt in the mouth. I'll increase to 0 0.01 or thereabouts. I'm going to press Ctrl R to remesh. I'm going to use my crease brush. I'm just going to add in or make this lower eyelid more defined. Use my crease brush and define these parts of the eye. Also, going to take my crease brush and define that eyebrow again, like so. That looks fine. I'm going to adjust the ear, which is my real brush to adjust the ear. something like that and then i'll switch back to the mouth to the face objects and then we can start sculpting in the mouth for the mouth i'm going to use the crease brush i will just draw a straight line work so that's a straight line and i'm going to indicate the corners of the mouth like that the mouth is meant to wrap around the teeth so we're going to make sure that the mouth the corners of the mouth go in so that they will be able to wrap around the teeth and then from the bottom we want it to come out like so so that is an indication that it wraps around the teeth and it's not just flat like that like so i'm going to pull the corners of the mouth down like that and then i'm just going to come back and adjust this part of the eye like so i'm also going to add in some volume to the corner of the mouth from the nose using my cliff trace brush i'm going to add in some volume just like that i'm also going to use my grab brush and i'll just pull this side in i'll adjust the chin of my character Just like so. 
and I'm going to adjust the eyes again. We're going to smooth out everything. And I'll make this chin actually like this. I'll make it flatter like this. I'll bring in this one. Bring in this part of the jaw. Like that. And I'll bring out this part. Just like that. Then we can continue sculpting the lips. I'm going to use my crease brush. I'm going to just define that line again. I'm going to use my crease brush holding down control and mark out the upper. Just like that. I'm going to smooth it out. I'll use my grab brush to make the lips rounder. Just pull out the middle part so that I can look rounder. So, and then for the lower lip, I'm going to use my clay trees brush. Now, just add volume to the lower part of the lip. I'm going to smooth out this part. And I'm going to refine that. Which is my crease brush. I'm just defining the lower lip like that. Which is my crease brush again to define the chin. Like so. I'll go back to object mode and I'll just rotate the eyes, something like that. Now we have added in all the facial features and it's time to make all of them now work together because right now they are just they just look like separate body parts. It's time to refine the sculpt to make them work together. Before we continue sculpting, there is an extended version of this tutorial where you get to see how I sculpt the hair for this character and complete the sculpting of the face. You also get my project files and included in it are the different steps we took to get to the final sculpt which you'll be able to use to join the proportions of your own sculpt. So check that out on my gun road if you're interested and let's continue sculpting. I'm going to increase my resolution 0.009 is okay. 0.01 I'm going to mesh everything. The crafter looks weird without eyebrows and eyelashes so you'll soon be adding that in. I'm going to use my crease brush to Back out the eyelids, the top of the eyelids. I'm also going to use my grab brush and make sure that the eyelid sits around the eye or wrap around the eye. I'm just bring that out. I'm going to bring this up like this. Make sure it's smooth. I'm going to add in. I'm going to use my crease brush and define the top of that eyebrow or the eyelid again. I'm going to use my clay shears brush to add volume to the top of the eye and the just like that. And then I'm going to go to object mode. I'm going to add in a plane and I'm going to go into edit mode and before we do anything I want to turn on snapping I'm going to turn it on from here make sure it is on face select face project and then select rotate and scale so I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees on the x-axis and I'm going to scale this down and it automatically snaps to the face or the model. I'm going to rotate this and I'm just going to model a very simple eyebrow. And extrude it down. I'm going to go to object mode. 
select my mirror modifier for my favorite and also add the solidify modifier. I'm going to change the thickness to a negative value. I'm just going to adjust it. I'm adding some loop cuts. Also adding one here. G to move that and I will adjust it. I'm going to go under the object properties here. Under viewport display, I'm going to change the color to a darker color. I'm going to move the eyebrow closer to the eyes. Like so, or I put it down. And I'm going to model it. I can see that the eyebrow just kind of sits under or just lower than the eyebrow line. So I'm just going to model that like so. I'm going to go to Scott's mode and I'm going to adjust. I'm going to go back to edit mode and I'll just add in another loop cut in the middle. Shift D, duplicate one of the vertexes. And I'm going to extrude around the eye. Just like so. I'm going to extrude this out. It should round the eye again. And I'm going to use F on the keyboard to, to fill in that part. I'll press F again to continue filling in the faces. Just keep on pressing F to reach this part. I'm going to use L on the keyboard and Alt N to flip the normals. And then I'm going to extrude again on this other side. Like this. I'm going to use F and fill that in. Fill this all in. Let's make sure. Going to turn up snapping and I'm just going to adjust this eyebrow in edit mode. I'm going to move this out forward. I'm going to adjust the mount. I think the mount is looking off right now, so I'm going to adjust that. I'll pull this down. I'm just going to break everything. Which is a large grab brush, just pull everything up, just like so. I will rotate the eyes on the x axis so they are looking down, rotate them also on the z axis, they are looking forward. And I'm going to refine the shape of the mouth, which is my crease brush. I will add in some volume with my glacier brush to this part of the face. We will spin that out. Just like that. Check out the full and extended tutorial on my Gumroad. Hope you learned something from watching this video. Give it a like if you did. Thanks for watching.